Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hello? Hello? This is a free horror game, which I learned about thanks to a site called Free Indie Games. So in the description, you'll find a link to where you can get the game directly and play for yourself if you want, and also to Free Indie Games, which I've found is a very nice website for finding games. In fact, for finding free games. In fact, for finding free indie games. Almost like the title. Hmm. Okay, so it's been a while since I played a horror game. Been a long while. So I'm looking forward to this. And in fact, I've actually turned out the lights for the first time ever. I've I've actually never turned out the lights to play a horror game. So I'm looking forward to this. One thing I do want to mention, though, is that the game... Uh, I feel like I have to mention this just to vent a little, I guess. It's made in the RPG, I think it's called the RPG Maker engine, or something like that. And because of that, it is unfortunately in the glorious high resolution of 640x480, which leaves me with two options. I can either have it as a tiny little postage stamp in windowed mode, and have to squint at my screen, or I can do what I'm doing now and have it full screened, and super, super blurry. Neither option I like very much. It puts me somewhere between wanting to laugh at how absurd it is and also wanting to punch my monitor that we're in the year 2013 and I have four cores on my CPU and eight gigabytes of memory and two terabytes of hard drive space and a 1080p monitor running at 1920 by 1080 and I'm playing a game in this day and age that runs at 640 by 480? As someone who obsesses over quality, this really annoys me. I mean, I don't expect it to look amazing but, I mean, at least, please, provide a higher resolution. That's something that really gets me. I have to, it, it's either a postage stamp or it's blurry. What I would really like, and what I guess probably wouldn't be too complicated, would be something like the Adventure Game Studio Engine, where the setup, the setup for each game allows you to set a nearest neighbor filter and upscale the whole thing. And because it's a nearest neighbor filter, it's not blurry. It's pixely, but since it's pixel art, it works. So something like that, anything like that, would be better than this. So I just want to mention that. It's super blurry, and it's tiny. Anyway, now that I have that out of my system, let's go. <laughs> it has one of the strangest menus I've ever seen. I know will start the game, and see you will quit. I have no idea why. Anyway, let's go. I know. What the hell was that noise? Okay, I believe shift is sprint. Yep. There's a couple of controls. Shift is sprint. Um, Z is check. I assume that's examine. What just happened? What did he just do? End 23. Hangover. <laughs> what? <gasps> okay, I drank the alcohol. And experienced one of the endings of the game, apparently. Okay, so Z is use, shift is sprint, and X is menu. Alright, oh, that's weird. Okay, that's even weirder. And am, am I crazy or is that the world's biggest phone? It appears to be as big as me. Hmm. Hello? Hello? Okay, they're calling again. Hello? Who is this? What the fuck was that? Okay, I'm gonna stop answering that now. Hold on. What is this? Decorative flowers. There appears to be some poltergeistry going on here. It, apparently, there's a letter inside of it that says, I'm lonely. Okay, there's something on the screen again. Do I want to look at the monitor? Uh, sure. 
Feels like it would be risky to turn it on now. Indeed it does. Please get away from it. I don't like monitors and horror... anything. Anything horror. Is that a fireplace? A fireplace. Rare these days. Indeed it is. Oh shit, I just blew out the candles. I just fucking blew out the candles. I didn't know he blow it out. I did not know he blow it out. I was gonna examine. End 19. Painful. Let's try that again. I wanted to examine. What's that clicking noise? This is a loud ass clock. I wanted to examine the candles, not blow them out. Did I actually have a clock in here? What the... The, the sound changed. Alright, what is this book? Not in the mood to read. I don't blame you. Uh, what? What? Hi? The fuck was that? End 30. Hell yeah. <laughs> what just happened? Is this a horror game or is this comedy? I'm not even sure at this point. Okay, there's something different every time I start. The clock is gone and now the TV is flashing. Well, that's happening again. I'm not gonna answer that. Okay. Let's look at the other window. It is a differently colored smiling thing. Um, what? Why does it keep changing color? And what is that? What the fuck? The curtains are drawn. Oh, oh, and it's that one again. Am I gonna get the ending again? Okay, don't look out the window. Don't look out the window or you end the game. Well, that chair moved in a different way. Did it actually have a clock in here? Alright, now that's done. What is this? It reflects the room. Oh, it's a mirror. It feels almost alive. Wait, what feels almost alive? What is that? It's too dark to see. Oh! End 24. Sneak attack. This game has so many endings. Alright, the letter's back on the ground. Answer the phone. Oh, is it gonna start ringing? Okay. I'll answer the phone. Hello? Hello? Who is this? Akari? And one. Hello? Hello? What? Also, did the menu just change? Now it says hello, hello, hey. What? What the hell is happening? Oh, damn it, I just did this ending again. I drank it. Um... And I just did this ending again. Whoops. And 18, approaching footsteps. Okay, well, I'm not going to go for the phone. Because I already know where that leads. A clock. Yep, that, that's a clock. I'm not going to look out the window, because I know where that leads. 
Okay, something's breathing down my neck. What was that? It sounds like someone just dropped a sword on the ground. Wait a minute, can I leave? I just realized that. I've never tried this. What? Can I do this? Is, is that an ending? What is that? End 24? Fuck this. End 3. Fleeing the phone. Okay, thank you for punching me. Fireplace rare these days. I want to get the one where the TV was on. Not willing to turn on the TV. Fair enough. Don't blow that out. Uh, I don't think he's going to want to read. <sighs> I don't think he's going to want to read. Not in the mood to read. No. Well, don't go near that alive thing because it's going to hit you. Reflects the room. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure what I can do. I could go to sleep, I guess. Good night. How could you sleep in a room like that? End four, just let it be morning. Alright, there's a clock. What a waste of good wine. Okay, let's answer the phone partially. But let's not go all the way. Oh, wait, wait, it keeps... Wait, it keeps going? What? I thought it would just repeat the same thing again and again. Apparently it doesn't. Hello? This is Akari, isn't it? Answer, please. Oh. Hi. And seven. No reply. Okay, it's adding to it. Hello? Hello? Hey. Where are you? Weird. Whoa. Okay. The room is changing. Now there's food and a teddy bear and the rug's different and... There's cracks in the ground? What the hell? That thing just moved. Decorative flowers. Still decorative and still fl It moved again. It feels almost alive. Does it? It's not gonna turn to look at me, is it? Huh. Those bags just fell down. Packed with souvenirs from my girlfriend. Why did they fall down? Why does that table keep moving? What are you doing, you silly table? Stay, stay put. Fireplace rare these days. Don't suppose you want to mess with the TV? Nope. Well, no one's... Once again, it sounds like someone dropped a sword on the ground. Um, eat. Food. Eat or leave it. Do I want to eat ghost food? Sure, why not? Is that an ending? And eight. Not feeling well. There's a letter this time. I don't hate you. It feels like you hate me. A smartphone. I don't use it much anymore. Not in the mood to read. Why does that thing... What just broke? Was it the mirror? Oh, those fell again. 
reflects the room. Yep, stove. What the fuck? Blood sticks to the mirror. Ew. Okay, let's see what's outside of the window this time. It's the happy trash bag face glove man. Well, I'm not going to keep doing that because I think I know how that's going to end. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to go to bed. Just let it be morning. Feels almost alive. I guess I could eat the food again. Not in the mood to read. Alright, so if I go in the top right corner, the bloody chunk of meat, or whatever the hell that is, sticks to the mirror. What's out this window? Oh, and this one... All the bag... Oh, the bag's falling can be triggered by walking here, but also the fire came on. Why is it lit? Good question. Okay, what if I blow out the candles, but leave the fireplace lit? Wait, what? What about the fireplace? I blew out the candles and the fireplace went out too? That makes no sense. Don't leave the room. Oh, really? Really, don't leave the room, huh? Oh, shit. She really meant don't leave the room. Fuck you, I'm going! <laughs> its head fell off. And two, can't stand this room. Hmm. Its head is off. I got a fucking phone again. Can I pick up the head? Its head is off. Enough of this, okay? Please. And nine, unseen force. Hello? Hello? Hey, where are you? Wait. Hmm, a little bit more. That sounds... Ooh! Hi. Okay, there's there's blood on the table, the phones ring, and the TV is filled with blood. And the bear's body is trying to punch me. Let's check out the TV. TV. It wants me to read. Not in the mood to read. Okay. Ah! And 21. Her. Don't go to the TV. Akari, what do you want from me? Okay, it definitely wants me to read. August 9th. In two days, it'll be six years of dating Kazuki. I decided I'll make his favorite meal. I'm sure he'll love it. Wait, is that what the food was? The meal that was out here? Was that my favorite meal? August 10th. Kazuki said he had an important business trip tomorrow, and I was already all done shopping. I can't even give him my present. <laughs> August 11th. Well, today makes six years, Kazuki. I know work is rough. I was too harsh on the phone yesterday. I'm sorry. August 25th. Kazuki called to say he'll be back tomorrow. It feels like it's been so long. I had better meet him at the airport. The entries end here. Hmm. I'm sorry, Akari. I'm sorry. And 10. Sweetheart's Diary. 
Hey, where are you? Wait for me. Hmm. Okay. Everything has changed. It's all blue and it's, there's a different rug. Oh, hi. And there's a different ring. And everything has blue flame. Let's get the phone. What do you want to do to me, Akari? I... D did she write her thoughts in this message? I'll come meet you tomorrow, Akari. End 15. Notice. I'm coming. Hey, where are you? Wait for me. I'm coming. Should I check out the TV again? Oh! End 12. Mirror. Don't look into the mirror. What about the TV? Okay, let's check out the TV. This is the Daily News. Yesterday morning, a woman was run over by a car. Seriously wounded, she passed away this morning. It's news from last month. And six, last month's news. How is that an ending? Wait a minute, is someone knocking? Someone's knocking. Hello? Hi? Hi, Akari. You're looking a little blue. I... Um... Let's... Let's check the room. Ha ha ha! I don't... Yeah, it's... Uh, stay there. Stay there. Okay, just stay there, okay? Hold on, let me read this. I can't read that. Why does Akari keep calling? Wait, she just disappeared. It couldn't be. What just happened? What the hell? What? Hello? Akari? Listen. I'm not dead. Not yet. I'm alive. I have a future. I love you. Won't you put your soul to rest? Huh? What do you mean? <laughs> bad, bad end. Wrong number. Oh my god. Uh, you've passed on. Wait, are you serious? That's the end of the game? At least, well, the bad end? Okay, I did a wrong number. Um... I, I want to know what the good ending is. So I will be right back when I've gotten back to this general area. Okay, I started the game back up, and the text was all... I guess, mirrored? And now I'm playing as her. So yeah, that's unexpected. So yeah, just started off the game, and here I am. I haven't progressed or done anything. So it's like everything is mirrored. I mean, everything is literally mirrored, because the table's on the other side of the room. The entrance is on the other side of the room. It looks like the entire room has simply been mirrored, yeah. And the fireplace was also on the left side. What the hell? Um, blow out the candles. And 19. Painful.
So yeah, there's the mirrored text. So it looks like everything, including the endings, are mirrored. We're, we're experiencing the same thing. So let me guess, this would be the pass out drunk or whatever? Hangover? Yeah, N23, hangover. Hmm. I'm so lonely. Oh, hi, face. I guess I was Kazuki. Hello? Akari? Listen. Oh, this is her. <laughs> this is so cool. I'm not dead. Not yet. I'm alive. I have a future. I love you. Won't you put your soul to rest? Huh? What do you mean? That's when he died. N25. Hello, Akari? Okay, so now we pretty much picked up where we left off with Akari getting his head chopped off. I mean, uh, Kazuki getting his head chopped off. But now we're playing as Akari. Smartphone, I don't use it, don't use it much. In hmm. Interesting sounds. Not in the mood to read. Blood sticks to the mirror. Oh, that's what that sound was. Can I look out the curtains? The curtains are drawn. Did I have a clock in the room? Hi, TV. Not willing to turn on the TV. Fireplace rare these days. Alright. Yeah, everything's the same. Oh! What was that? There's someone groaning. Let me go out. Hello? And two, can't stand this room. Okay, that's different. The same bear, but with a different color. It feels, this one also feels almost alive. I'm just gonna go to sleep. N4, just let it be morning. Not sure what I can do. A smartphone, I don't use it much anymore. Let's go out again. Actually, let's blow this out. That'd be the footstep ending. Approaching footsteps. Hmm. Oh shit, I did not mean to go into the bed. Alright, Kazuki keeps showing up here. Feels almost alive. Let's see if this one will prevent me from leaving like the last one did. Yes, it will! And guess what? Fuck you. I'm recreating what happened with Kazuki. And two can't stand this room. Okay. Its head is off. Its head is off. Okay, now we're back to the phone. Kazuki? That call I got... 
It was from you, right? Enough of this, okay? It's not doing any good for us. End 26. Unending. And more text is added, although of course I can't read it because it's mirrored. There's the elevator noise. Oh, shit. There's the elevator noise again. <laughs> there's the phone again. <laughs> oh, and there's the fireplace. Kazuki, what do you want from me? Okay, we're back to this. August 9th. In two days, uh, it'll be six years of dating Akari. I suppose I should treat her to a special meal. I bet she'll love it. August 10th. Akari said she has an important business trip tomorrow. What a shame. Had a present and everything. This is the mirror of what happened... to him. It's mirrored. It's even the same dates. August 11th. Today makes six years, Akari. I know work is rough for you, too. I'm sorry for what I said on the phone yesterday. August 25th. Akari called and said she'll be back tomorrow. It's it's felt like so long. I should meet her at the airport. The entries end here. I'm sorry, Kazuki. I'm sorry. And 10, Sweetheart's Diary. And let me guess, the next time there's going to be a knocking at the door. No knocking! But a phone call. What do you want to do to me, Kazuki? Oh, wait. Maybe it happens after this when he's probably going to come in the room? Okay, so answering the f or trying to call someone and dialing a wrong number seems like the wrong way to go. So. We'll <laughs> N27, come on, read it. Okay, I have no time to think. Let's just do it. What do you want to do to me, Kazuki? Letter? There we go. I'll come see you tomorrow. Maybe now the knocking's gonna come up? N15, notice? There's the knocking. Okay, what am I gonna do? Trying to call someone seems like a bad idea. I could go to sleep and just say, fuck you, I'm gonna take a nap. I don't know, let's answer it and see what happens. Hi, Kazuki, how you feeling? You're looking very... let's find out. S stop Kazuki. Akari? Is that you, Akari? <laughs> Akari, hold out your hand, come quick. What? K Kazuki, where are you? Oh, bad end. Why must you refuse? <laughs> okay. What did I refuse? Let's answer the door. S Stop. Kazuki. Akari? Is that you, Akari? Akari, hold out your hand. Come quick. Kazuki, where are you? Oh, I need to actually move. Why must you refuse? What? I, I was moving towards him. What? 
Why must you refuse? I was moving towards him. Do I need to run away from him? I didn't realize I could actually move at that point. Okay, let me run away from him. Because going towards him seems like a bad idea, because he apparently destroys my head. I think I'm going to be hearing a lot of screaming. Okay. And let's run. Um, I could try the phone again. Is he coming towards me, or... Or is he just, like, hanging around? He's, he's looking at me. Let me try the bear. Its head is off. I can't do anything. I, I could run. Yeah, let's try running. See ya. Wait. Oh shit, it's locked. Or something, I don't know. I can't go out. I think the phone might be the only thing I can do. Wait, what is that in the fireplace? Something's like wiggling around. Quick, grab my hand. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, what? There's someone in the fire... the chimney? Uh, is, is that Kazuki? It, is it really? Really? I said hurry. Who the fuck? And 28, another lover. Okay, we're back with him. The fireplace connects to the mirror world. Answer the phone or go in the fireplace. Let's answer the phone. Let's see what happens. Hello? Okay, that's just starting over. A fireplace, rare these days. Oh, wait, so how do I... Can I go in? The fireplace connects to the mirror world. Okay, well, here's a mirror. Can I move it? No. It reflects the room. Okay, let's answer the phone. Hello? Who is this? Akari? Okay, so we're back to these old endings again. Hello? Hello? Ending one. Hello, hello, hey, where are you? Wait for me, I'm coming to see you. Okay, can I enter the fireplace? Oh shit, someone's knocking at the door already. Uh, hi. Oh, now I can go to the fireplace, right? There's gonna be someone there, right? Or is that an ending? Oh, no, 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 we're back to this. Akari. I'm not gonna hug her and I'm not gonna scold her. I'm gonna check the room. Goodbye. That's the screaming... The the person offering her um, his hand. That was me. That's me. I'm about to do that right now. Akari? Is that you, Akari? Yeah, I'm listening to them. The, the cough. Akari, hold out your hand. Is it Kazuki? Is it... Really? Really? I said hurry. <laughs> Don't let go. I'll pull you up. Kazuki. Heave. Akari, let's get out of here. R right. When I heard Akari, I desperately reached for her. To save an Akari who shouldn't exist. The girl whose hand I'm holding now, is it the real Akari? That question didn't seem to matter. 
the ghost Akari and... They're in love? Hmm. <laughs> that was such a cool game. It's kind of like exploded my mind. I never expected that. It kind of... It almost like breaks the fourth wall with how it's set up. Is there more to it? Everything's fading. True end. Mirrored lovers. I wish for your happiness. Do you think there's more? It said true end, and it felt like the end, but last time I restarted the game, something different happened. Do you think there's more? Let's find out, shall we? Yeah. Let's find out right about now. Hold on a second. And we are... Uh, where's the key? Uh, there it is. And we are back. I think that's the end, but maybe there's even more. Smartphone, I don't use it much anymore. It's I, I think that was the end, but let me just go through like one or two endings and see. Alright, it's the same dialogue. Alright, let's see if anything changes. And one. Okay, I think that actually was the end. Alright, so yeah, that was a really interesting game. I, like, pr really quickly I forgot all about the graphics, which says a lot about it. Oh god, please stop. Let me get an ending, so that stops. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I don't want to wrap up the game hearing this the ringing phone constantly um so yeah I, I forgot about the very blurry graphics very quickly which is a testament to how well it was made because the sort of thing really bothers me but yeah I totally forgot about it because it's so freaking clever I wouldn't say it was particularly scary but it was creepy and very bizarre sometimes it kind of veered off into comedy but Mostly it stayed within horror. And it kind of breaks the fourth wall with the whole... The game looks like it's over and you actually have to close it, but then when you start it back up, it's different. Like, I think the designer maybe knew what people were going to do. They knew they would do what I did, where you get to that ending and it says bad ending. And you can't continue. So you quit the game and naturally, because you had such an abrupt ending and it said bad ending, you naturally feel like you should start it up again and try to get the good ending. And I did that, expecting I'd have to play through everything. But the game was really clever, and I guess realized that I would be trying to do that, and didn't actually repeat the game. It actually continued it, but mirrored. That is so unbelievably mind-blowing, I'm, well, blown away. That was so clever. And the fact that you have to die again and again and again to progress things is... bizarre. But interesting. I've never played a game like this before. So kudos to the creator. Or creators, if there's more than one. That was a really good and interesting game. Alright, so I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of... Hello? Hello?